Do you ever wish you could easily access the entire top side of your playfield without having to lurch over the cabinet to work on it? Well, there is a method and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. What's up guys and welcome back to my channel where I talk and do everything pinball so if that sounds interesting to you then hit that subscribe button down below. Now honestly before making this video I didn't think I needed to but it wasn't until I started doing my work on my Jurassic Park I'm adding some mods to it and I started thinking as I was getting it into the current position that it is now I was like does anybody else use this method or is it just me? So with minor googling on pen side and stuff like that just trying to see what other people's methods are i couldn't find it and if it is out there i'm not saying oh i'm the genius to develop this or nothing like that it's just that i'm not seeing at least something easily accessible to inform others of this really simple method in order to access the entire play field. Top side, that is. And the thing is, this method will work on a majority of pinball machines. And I'm pretty sure it's all pros with next to no cons. And this is how you do it. You will start by having your play field lifted and in the resting position on the cabinet like so. Now this is why I say the method will work on a majority of machines and I can't state all because Stern has these rubber knobs right here on their playfield rails. And that is what's gonna keep the playfield from sliding forward or back. Not all games will have these, but there sometimes are methods on the rails that keep it from doing this on the older games. Now for me, this is a single person job and I believe it to be for a majority of you out there, you could do it yourself as well. But if you need help, then by all means, beckon your child over there to help you or something because it doesn't require much effort. Now I use a microfiber cloth, but you can also use anything else that keeps these clamps from possibly damaging your cabinet's artwork. I use these mini clamps available at Harbor Freight. There are many other things that you can use, but I find these to work the best for me. And then all you have to do is slide it in position and the play field will rest on top of these. And your play field is now completely out of the cabinet, giving you full access to work on it. And just to show you that the play field is going to be stable, at least on my stern, here's you an example. And another pro for working on your games like this is that it still gives you that nice slope to your play field and you can still play test it if needed be. And there you have it, just a quick video giving you a tip on how to access the entire top side of your play field without removing it from the cabinet. Did anybody else out there use this method? Am I the only one? I can't be the only one. I am not stating that I discovered this, no way. So by all means, if you already use this method too or something similar to it, then let me know in the comment section down below. And if you have friends out there that may need this, then by all means, share this video with them. Give me the thumbs up if you learned something, subscribe button if you haven't already ding my dong that way you can be notified of whenever i upload something for your viewing pleasure and until next time guys peace out <laughs>